Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about what is DevOps. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Engineer Certification Course. So, what is DevOps? DevOps is the union of people, process, and products to enable continuous delivery of value to our end users. The contraction of Dev and Ops refers to replacing silo development and operations to create multidisciplinary teams that now work together with shared and efficient practices and tools. Essential DevOps practices include agile planning, continuous integration, continuous delivery, and monitoring of applications. And DevOps is a continuous journey. Let's start with a basic assumption about software development. I will describe it with OODA, which is Observe, Orient, Decide and Act Loop. This is originally designed to keep fighter pilots from being shot out of the sky. The OODA loop is a good way to think about staying ahead of your competitors. You start with observation of business, market, needs, current user behavior, and available telemetry data. Then you orient this data with enumeration of options for what you can deliver, perhaps with experiments. Next, you decide what to pursue and you act by delivering working software to real users. All of this occurs in some cycle time. Hopefully, you use data to inform what to do in the next cycle. Many experience tell us that roughly one third of the deployment will have a negative business results. Roughly one third will have positive results and one third will make no difference. Ideally, you would like to fail fast on those that don't advance the business and double down on those that support the business. Sometimes this is called pivot or persevere. So let's learn how you can strive for validated learning. How quickly you can fail fast or double down is determined by how long that loop takes or in lean terms by your cycle time. Your cycle time determines how quickly you can gather feedback to determine what happens in the next loop. The feedback that you gather with each cycle should be real, actionable data. This is called validated learning. So how can you shorten your cycle time? When you adopt DevOps practices, You shorten your cycle time by working in smaller batches, using more automation, hardening your release pipeline, improving your telemetry, and deploying more frequently. The more frequently you deploy, the more you can experiment, the more opportunity you have to pivot or persevere, and to gain validated learning each cycle. This acceleration is validated learning in the value of improvement. Think of it as the sum of improvements that you achieve and the failures that you avoid. Now let us understand how this DevOps journey looks like. The first step is continuous integration, which drives the ongoing merging and testing of code, which leads to finding defects early. Other benefits include less time wasted on fighting merge issues and rapid feedback for development teams. Second step is continuous delivery of software solutions to production and testing environment helps organization quickly fix bugs and respond to ever-changing business requirements. Third step is version control. Usually with Git enables teams located anywhere in the world to communicate effectively during daily development activities as well as to integrate with software development tools for monitoring activities such as deployments. Step number four is all about agile planning. Agile planning and learn project management techniques are used to plan and isolate work into sprints and manage teams' capacity and helps teams quickly adapt to changing business needs. A DevOps definition of done is working software collecting telemetry against the intended business objectives. Step number five, it's all about monitoring and logging. This is where you monitor and log the running applications, including production environments, for application health as well as customer usage. This helps organizations form a hypothesis and quickly validate or disprove strategies. 
rich data is captured and stored in various logging format in this stage. Public and hybrid cloud have made the impossible easy. The cloud has removed traditional bottlenecks and helped commoditize infrastructure. Whether you use infrastructure as a service to lift and shift your existing apps or platform as a service to gain unprecedented productivity, the cloud gives you a data center without limits. Let's talk about IAC, which is Infrastructure as Code. Infrastructure as Code is a practice which enables the automation and validation of creation and tear down of environments to help with delivering secure and stable application hosting platforms. Step number eight is all about microservices architecture. Microservice architecture is leveraged to isolate business use cases into small, reusable services that communicate via interface contracts. This architecture enables scalability and efficiency. And containers are the next evolution in virtualization. They are much more lightweight than virtual machines. This allows much faster hydration and can be easily configured from files. So if DevOps hurts, do it more often. Just like going to the gym, adopting new practices is likely to hurt at first. The more often you exercise the new practices, the easier they will become. And just like training at the gym, where you exercise large muscles before the small muscles, adopt practices that have the greatest impact first and cross-train to develop synergy. So that concludes our first lesson. In the next episode, we are going to learn about planning for DevOps. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.